Today, I'm gonna to be trying out Kai's latest fashion collection. This is Kylie Jenner's fourth drop for her fashion brand. It's a day to night collection that consists of bodycon dresses and sets made with three different types of materials. Personally, I really like this collection. I think it's the best one she's launched so far. The pieces are elegant. They look more timeless and something that you can keep as staples in your wardrobe. But then I found out there's already some tea around this collection. Get this, an Australian designer has accused Kai of stealing her designs. It's a pretty big claim, but she does have some valid points. And this even made Australian news, so it is pretty big. An Aussie-based fashion designer has accused the reality star of cashing in on her designs. Kylie's brand Kai has copied the frocks she created four years ago. The similarities of the designs are the twisted, this is our signature look, and the asymmetrical design on the shoulder, as well as the fit and the color palette is also the same. To be Honest, I'm not shocked if Kai took a lot of inspiration from this Australian brand Johansson. There's a lot of similarities and if I was the designer I think I would be pretty upset too. So I got a set from each fabric so we can see what they look like. The first one is mesh stretch. This fabric is described as lightweight. It's a slinky soft material that flatters your figure and it has the right amount of sheerness. I got the micro one shoulder top in nude in extra small and I got the matching cut out fold over pants. On the website it suggested to size down if you wanted a more fitted look. Before I get trying I want to let you guys know a little bit about my beauty brand the Petite Club. We make cruelty free lashes and brow lamination kits to help you enhance your look. Now when I say we it's like me and two other people so we're quite small we don't have Kylie Jenner budgets but we love what we do. Our lashes are designed to flatter smaller hooded eye shapes and our latest product the Pokey Perm Brow Lamination kit is an easy DIY duo that helps to lift up and transform your brows right in the comfort of your own home so no need to visit salons and it saves you money. If you guys want to try out our products and support the brand we are exclusively available on Coriel.com and you guys can use my family and friends discount code TINA20 to get 20% off the Petite Club and other brands on Coriel.com. As always I'll leave the links for you guys Below. I feel ripped off already. Not gonna lie, this feels like a $20 set from Sheen. It feels very cheap. It is pretty sheer. I don't know what the perfect amount of sheerness her team means, but we shall see. I will say it is very, very stretchy. I'm actually surprised as to how it looks on me and how it feels. It is very, very comfortable. The fabric is extremely stretchy to the point that I'm thinking maybe I should have sized down even more because this feels like very loosey-goosey to me. Normally, I'm a size US 4 or an Australian 8. Now with this fabric, I feel like on camera it gives off this like swirly look so I'm not too keen on that because I don't know it's got like that weird pattern. The fabric is pretty sheer guys so you need to be wearing like nude underwear and even me when I turn around Zen says it looks like I have a very long butt crack because of that seam line. See your butt crack. It's a seam. Oh okay. I don't know if you're comfortable with showing a little bit of sheerness. I would prefer this not so sheer to be honest, at least not to the point where you can see the tag. I'm a shorty so the length of these pants do need to be hemmed up for me, but they're not super crazy long like her first drop. That was just like wild. You needed like the longest legs to fit those pants. In my opinion, for what this set is, I feel like it's quite a rip off. Like, I feel like you can find something a lot more affordable that probably has the same sort of quality and feel on Sheen or on, on any of those like other fast fashion websites because this feels extremely low quality to me. I think from a distance, like it looks okay on me. Like it looks, it looks good. But then when you get close, and you look at this region, there's something funky going on. Like the patterns are kind of throwing me off. And then because of that sheerness, you can kind of see like the seam line that goes from the back to the middle here. And it's, I don't know, it's weird. And then when I try to like pull it up, it's giving me camel toile. Like, mm. I don't know. The, the nude color doesn't help, definitely. Maybe she should have made this part not so sheer and the rest could be kind of sheer. I wouldn't mind that. The top is not so bad. I think it's more the pants that need work. Like as I'm moving around, this part starts to drop because it's so loose and 
I don't know if you've seen other reviews on Kai, their sizing is all over the shop. I feel like with this material, you need to size down twice. I definitely do not recommend this material nor this set for anyone. Next, I got two maxi dresses from the suede stretch range. The material is described to be an innovative suede stretch that molds to your body in all the right places. It has a butter soft feel with a suede like texture. So I got the black knotted maxi dress, which has an asymmetrical off the shoulder twist detail. I think this one looks really elegant. It looks really timeless and nice. This one feels a little bit better. It doesn't feel as cheap. For this one, I got a small because it's supposed to be true to size. Guys, I like this dress on me. I like this detail and you can kind of just play around with the shoulders so you can wear it like off the shoulder. You can retie this as well. The fit of this, I think it's quite flattering. The length is a little bit long for me so I would have to wear like chunkier platforms if I just wanted to like have it not drag on the floor. The description of this material though, I feel like it's a bit misleading because to me this does not even feel like suede like. It just feels like spandex to me. It's like a little bit thicker but definitely not like a buttery soft suede texture like they describe it. It feels okay, it feels nice but I can just tell that it's not like super expensive and high end. Though the design, I feel like it's quite elegant. So on camera, I think it looks really good. In person, it doesn't feel like the most high quality thing. Like it's a material that can just straight up cut and have it not fray. Like there's no hem on this. It's just cut and just sew it together and ta-da. I will admit Kylie makes it look good though. Like she makes it look expensive. It's kind of giving me like Skims vibe. If you know what I mean. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I feel like I could definitely wear this to a little special event, maybe someone's wedding. Can you wear black to a wedding? See, you can, right? I haven't been to a wedding in a long time. I haven't been out in a long time. Then I got the stone stretch twist maxi dress, which has the little tie detail that you can adjust. I really like the look of this dress in the photos and on the website, but on me, something is up. Like, I feel like, is it the twist that's like, like throwing me off like I don't know like it's not looking like how it looks on Kylie yeah I think you need to actually like DIY twist this did I do it why what's happening no yes why help I need a twist assistant for this like shouldn't it be this? sewn like twisted already it looks very fitted and tight on her if I just look like that, then yes. But, okay, let go. <laughs> what? Do I need bigger shoulders? Do I need to separate them more? Do I need to pop my collarbone and shoulder out? You need to finesse the twist a little bit on this, okay? Another thing is this color. <sighs> It's not so forgiving when it comes to hugging the right spots on your body. The black was a lot better. This one, you can just see all the little bumps and lumps. You probably need to wear skims under this. They should do a collab. This dress also came a little bit dirtier as well. Kylie Jenner's team definitely did a really good job styling her because it definitely catfished me. I like the knot feature. It, it felt kind of like unique. It felt different. But then on me, it's it's lacking. I don't know. It needs either like, is it because I'm short or I need to size down? It needs to be a little bit tighter like how it sits on Kylie. It's disappointing me. The length of this is also pretty long on me. Just to give you reference, I am a shorty. I'm 5'2". So if you're taller, maybe you don't need to hem this up. Sad. I was hoping this one would work out for me. Then I got two pieces from the Sleek Stretch Fabric, which is a lightweight, ultra-flexible fabric that hugs the body and has a soft, silky feel. <laughs> this skirt length. I don't have any skirts this length. And I was like, oh, maybe I could rock it. No, I should not rock this length. It makes me look even even shorter guys like what <laughs> I'm a fan of the top guys and I like this material it feels like a better fit than the others and it feels thicker it feels sturdier I like the top I like the the tie detail that you can adjust it the skirt Maybe it's just because I'm short and it just makes me look even shorter. So I'm not a fan of the length. Kylie even wears it like low waisted. Like, don't mind the underwear, guys. Kylie rocks it. I cannot rock the low waisted. Yeah, nah. 
for me, it probably needs to be this length to be like, okay. You know what I mean? It needs to almost be like mini-ish to make me look good. I'm kind of giving like ballroom dancers. Welcome to Dancing with the Stars. Latina has no partner because no one wants to dance with her. It's trying to be conservative, but it's screaming auntie. <laughs> I kind of remember this trend like years and years ago, like this was a thing and I get like maybe the retro styles all coming back but ugh, I can't, I can't make this look good. The top I think I will keep because I can definitely wear this and style it, it's black, I can wear it with jeans, I think I can really make this work. Don't mind, I just want to separate the skirt so you can see the length of the top. Like if you wear this with jeans, you can, it like it fits nicely and you can tuck it in under. It's not like crop, so it will cover the belly button. Classy. Do I look classy? You look crashy. So the two that I'm going to be keeping, they're pretty similar. It's the knotted top and the knotted maxi dress. Everything else I'm going to definitely return. Now, if you guys want to see more try on hauls, I have a whole playlist you guys can watch. Click the playlist on screen and don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.